What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again back with the bang of the day, guys, on a very special vid, man. Um, I had to watch this myself and see what this was all about because of who it was. Corey Kinchy, man. Um, one of the biggest YouTubers on YouTube, you know, and one of the biggest black creators on YouTube. And one of the most happiest things I like to say is one of my biggest supporters for my clothing line sample. Corey has bought multiple pieces um, from me and Bull. He supported us. I don't, we don't rarely, we rarely talk about it or bring it up, but this man has uh, shown hella support to my brand personally and Bulls. And he watches Bull. He watches us from time to time and he, he rocks with us. So I seen this video pop up about uh, YouTube racism and favoritism, and this is not his normal type of video. This guy is a guy that has, um, is always, you know, put smiles on people's faces. He know, like, if when Corey's dealing with stuff, something, and he later on tells you, you'd be like, what the hell? Like, you'd be confused because he is able to keep the personal stuff that's going on in life off camera. And people that, people go to his channel to, do the same, you know, maybe they're dealing with stuff and he just is able to put people, put put a smile on people's faces with the content that he brings, especially from uh, Friday uh, nights with Freddie, one of my favorite, you know, series that he does. And also one thing that Corey's good at doing is very similar to Bull as well. Maybe, maybe Corey, you rub this off on Bull, but uh, he's known to disappear from YouTube for like 7,000 months and then come back. And when he comes back, he comes back with a banger, you know, like, like just check it out. Like seven days. He's been active re recently, but look, two weeks ago, then four months, he disappears, you know, and then comes back and then he just comes back like nothing ever happened. See, Hey, everybody. And then he kills it as always. This guy is one of the best YouTubers out there on the planet. I got to give it up to him. But, uh, he dropped this video a couple of days ago. I have not watched it and I want to watch it. And I want to react to it. I want to hear his thoughts and opinions. And I know that his voice is definitely going to reach out to the masses on whatever message he's trying to deliver. I want to hear what he has to say coming from him. So let's get it, man. I'm going to try my best to articulate this video as thoroughly, as plainly, as eloquently as possible. I don't want there to be any lost context. I don't want to just look like I'm coming out of nowhere, having a temper tantrum because these things are happening. The allegations I am levying towards YouTube are extremely serious. And I'm taking this video extremely seriously. And that's what I'm saying. Racism, favoritism is one thing. Racism, putting the racist card on something in general, you know, in a big company, a big company. And from a guy like this, this is this guy, like I'm saying, bro, this is like one of the top creators out here, bro. 14 million subscribers, but, you know, 106 million views. I got. I think I got a total 150 million views on Tony D2R. This guy's. This guy has gotten in one month as many views as I have, views I have on my channel in, in its entirety. And I've been on YouTube, damn near nine years or something like that. It's something. But the, the guy is. This is big, and I'm gonna be stopping a lot. So if you just want to watch the video without any stopping, then go to Corey's channel. And I'll leave a link down below. But this is a reaction. Okay, this is my thoughts and opinions. YouTube. You guys either play favorites, you are racist, or it's a mix of the two. These are the three options, YouTube. Which one is it? Here's my proof. I've been doing YouTube a long time, okay? I never want to be that guy, oh, it's because I'm black. Oh, these issues are happening because I'm black. There have been certain situations that I looked at kind of funny. I said, hmm. It could be because of that, but nah, I ain't gonna, I don't, I'm not trying to press that. I don't want to build that narrative around my, my YouTube channel. This time, I can no longer let it slide. This is the situation. August 18th, I uploaded the Mortuary Assistant. A lot of you would know it got age restricted because the following video I did, I let you guys know it got age restricted. YouTube didn't tell me why. I saw that all these other YouTubers were playing the Mortuary Assistant and only my video seemed to be age restricted and i looked for like an hour two hours i was scrolling wow. all different types of people's video no one else's was age restricted so i appealed the restriction um hey guys i i'm not sure why mine got age restricted could you look into this appeal rejected they doubled down the policy team said no Corey, your video is restricted for good reason we're not going to tell you why but it's restricted that's our final decision 
And I just want to show y'all something, bro. That he that he showed. Like I gotta show this. Peep this, man. Peep the in peep the viewership and stuff, right? 108 million. Salute to PewDiePie. Salute to PewDiePie. No, no, no disrespect whatsoever. But I'm just trying to show you. I have beaten like Meet what Nef we're talking about when we talk about a creator. PewDiePie, 39 million. Mark Plyer, another big time content creator. 33 million. Hundred and sixty seven million. So he's up there. You know, he's getting just as he's get these guys PewDiePie's the biggest YouTuber on YouTube. Mark Plyer is, you know, somewhere above that, but Corey got fourteen million subscribers. Mark's got thirty three million. And they damn near I mean sixty million is a big difference, but you could see that he's pretty much doubling him, but he ain't doubling him in views. But what I'm just trying to say is that this guy is there with the best, with some of the biggest. He is one of the best. He is one of the biggest. So for it to be singled out just like that on him only, this right here is already wild. I said, hmm, okay. I get with my YouTube rep. I send him an email. Hey, could you look at this? This is some weird stuff going on. Only my video got <clears throat> restricted. My YouTube rep who isn't on the policy team, he looked at my video and he said, hey, it could possibly be this part at the end where the woman was battling some depression and i'm just gonna leave it there lest this video also get age restricted just because i'm talking about it so i looked at that part the first thing i did was try to find other youtubers who had that part or at least a part similar now markiplier i don't know if you'll ever see this but i just want you to know i have a lot of respect for you and see, i didn't mean to I, drag you into the middle of it. and see i that's what we just showed i didn't even know he was talking like i said this is my first time seeing it so i didn't that was not coincident like well, that was coincidence. I didn't even know this. Your channel just has happens to be a great reference point because A, you're a really big YouTuber and B, you're not black. So I can look at your channel and then I can look at my channel or look at anyone else's channel and make sure that the things and the games that you play all that they're enforcing the rules equally to everybody. So I go to Markiplier's Mortuary Assistant part three and he had the same situation going on in his video wasn't age restricted. So I send the video to my YouTube rep. I say, hey, um, Markiplier has this situation in his video, but his isn't age restricted. Could you send that to the policy team and see what they say about that? He said, wow, Corey, uh, that's some astute detective work. Let me uh, send this to them and see what. That is not no detective work. <laughs> that is not no fucking detective work. All he did is went to another person's video. Like, I can understand if he died deep into some other, like, but, bro, he literally looked at one of his colleagues in the same field. That's like me and Bull, you know? Like, I just go and look at one of Bulls. It's not no damn detective work. It's right there. Like, this shouldn't have been, this shouldn't have been missed, is what I'm trying to say. It's not saying that he, like, Corey didn't do a good job of detective work, but it's, it's, that's not an excuse. Like, oh, wow, this is, we didn't know. This is, this is super deep. Like, damn, we. We let, like, nah, this was this was literally right in front of you, bro. What they say, what do you think happened after that? I'll give you a second. Um, what do I think after that? I would hope, I don't hope, I don't think none of y'all should be age restricted, but I either hope you don't get, un, you get unage restricted or y'all both get age restricted. But even then that's stupid because there's still hundreds of other videos you've probably done that are still age restricted. It misses the point. But from what your how your face looks right now, it looks like they just told you sorry and they left his shit up and, and yours is still age restricted. That's what it looks like. They came back and they removed my age restriction. Mm. They took it off after they already rejected my appeal. So that's one of the options I did say. See, the bad thing is, though, somebody might be like, okay, why are you whining now? When you get a video age restricted, it hurts your video's revenue. And the viewership he dropped this video he can't and and it's been like six days ago whatever right like whatever's going on like the damage has already been done to the video so it's like yeah you might have fixed it right now but the, the the potential that my video possibly would have had is now damaged because of your mistake and that's one of the biggest problems with youtube and this algorithm is these things that they do it's like when you do this 
Let me let me make sure I say things right because I don't need Dylan up here laughing. Dylan, I'm talking to you, Dylan. You know what I'm talking about. You're gonna start saying I'm running around in circles or something. <laughs> but when you drop a video and it gets age restricted immediately or demonetized or limited with ads, that video is not gonna perform as good as a regular video already. It's already pretty much chopping the legs off of your video. That's what I'm trying to say. So if it comes, if you drop a video, it's age restricted and all that, and then seven days later, it gets removed. The damage to that video has already been done. It's too late. To, I mean, I appreciate it, but this shouldn't happen in the first place. And there's not like a thing that YouTube's going to be like, oh, well, we're going to help you out next time. It's, it's none of that. Nah, it's done. I sent them the clip of Markiplier's video that has the same thing, and they removed it. Now, my YouTube rep, he was excited. He was, oh, great. This is awesome. Look, Corey, they took the age restriction off. I said, why? I expected them to triple down and mm -hmm. give Markiplier an age restriction too. But they looked at Mark's video and they oh, used that to my verify oh. my innocence. So I send my YouTube rep a lengthy email detailing my feelings about the, the entire situation, feeling like there was some favoritism at play there was either that or some racism at play and that i would like to sit down with the policy team and figure out why my video was flagged in the first place actually number one was it automated or was it a human that age restricted in in the first place number two who was the human reviewer because it's a human reviewer once you send submit an appeal who was the human reviewer that doubled down and rejected my appeal number three why did it take Markiplier's clip in order for them to reverse the decision? My YouTube rep gets back. So great point is the last point. Basically, the person watched his, the, a person, person flagged Corey's video and said, oh, this is horrible. This is wrong. This is a bad thing. This is horrible. We got to age restrict this, man. We can't be showing this in this thing. But then it took someone else to see, say, well, hey, Markiplier did it. Oh, well, if Markiplier did it, then I mean, yeah, it's good. Okay, then yeah, we'll let Corey do it. But why? Why did it take that? That is an issue. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, that's a favoritism thing right off the rip. Racism, that could be another part as well. But I definitely see that. And we see that happen all the time in society where one thing, like somebody gets judged for something, but then when someone else is doing the same exact damn thing, it's like, oh, well, Okay, never, never mind yet. Yeah, you're right, you're right. That shit happens all the time. Back with me, he wants to hop on a call. We get on the phone um, for about 10, 15 minutes, and I tell him, I've been feeling like this for a long time. I've been feeling like every single time that I come back to YouTube, I'm number one trending for a few days, and then they find some arbitrary issue. They nitpick, and they try and find something that they can incriminate me for and try to push me down. You don't believe me? What wow. happened the last time I came back and I was number one trending for like a week? They copyright strike me for a video that was in 2019 or something like that. Why don't these issues ever crop up when I'm not uploading? I mean, I I'm not on YouTube like nine months out of the year. Nothing ever happens until I come back and I start uploading again and I'm getting my numbers, they're climbing, they're exploding, I'm number one trending, and then they're like, hey, we need to stop him. We need to, hey, this black man, he's getting too many views, he's, he's getting too much exposure, too much activity. Hold that, Bob. Let's get back to the current situation. So my YouTube rep assures me he's gonna continue this dialogue with the policy team and try to get some answers to those three questions that I had. So another day, another two days go by, and what do you know? They re-age restricted the video. What the hell? <laughs> they re-age restricted the video. I say, no way did they do that. I go to Markiplier's video now, and now his video is age restricted. They got caught with their pants down. They got called out, and then they had to go back and say, oh, whoa, 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 okay. We see the narrative that he's kind of pushing here. We need to take some steps back. We need to just age restrict them both and be done with it. You thought that I wasn't gonna like talk about this, make a video about it. You realize how bad this looks for you, YouTube. You realize- Can I be honest about something? Now this is this my thoughts and opinions. This is just me maybe speculating or being a uh, cons conspiracy theory tinfoil hat. But I honestly, 
believe there's biased, favoritist, and racist. You cannot, like, let's just be honest. Racism lives in this world. Racism is in America. There are racists that have jobs. There are racists, like, there is a racist police officer. There's a racist teacher. There's a racist uh, judge. There's a racist person at your local supermarket. Racism, race, racist people live everywhere. So they have to have a job, more than likely. So they have jobs everywhere. There has to be racist people that work at YouTube. Like there's, or there, like, it's just, it's not saying that like YouTube is a racist company, but like, it's like we there has there has to be the case. There has to be racist people, like it, it, anywhere, any company, racist people at Apple, racist people. Like we can't prove it. Like we can't point out a specific person, but there's so many people. There's so much prejudice and all this stuff going on that you know for a fact it's there. That's not my main point. My main point is though is that. You can't tell me, though, that people that work at YouTube don't watch YouTube and then ha know the actual creator. Like, there's not a person that's sitting there that's doing review, like a person that's on a computer doing these YouTube reviews and shit on these channels, right? There's no way that this person is like, don't know who they're reviewing. Especially somebody like Corey. Maybe like me. Maybe they don't know. Maybe they, they got a little beep, like a little flag, and they're looking like, okay, this guy on this YouTube channel, he's talking this and that. I, like, But when you see someone like this, like Corey, you know who this individual is. So I do wonder if these reviewers that they got working on YouTube, like, do they, does their personal opinions get involved with their actual work? It's very similar to like what happens in court with jury, with jurors all the time. Like, that's a big issue when people are picking jurors in court. They want to make sure that the jurors that they're picking, they're not going to let their emotions dictate what's going on. That's why when a, a black a, an armed African American gets killed by a cop, and there's a all white jur a jury. You know, people don't like that. That's not something they like. They want to get it mixed up of different peers in the community because they do feel like there will be some bias, or there could be some racist or some favorites going on. You know, so I do believe that, especially big YouTubers like this. Like, you can't just tell me that the review. I don't know. It's just hard to believe that a reviewer of content like that is. There's this total non biasy going on. It's just not. It's just impossible. And I, I hate to throw it out there, but like, yeah. Guys, how unfair this comes across. I, in all my years, have never seen a video get age restricted, de age restricted. And then age restricted again. Have have any of you ever seen that happen before? They saw that I saw that there was some unfair stuff going on. So then they tried to appease me by de-age restricting the video. I say, wait, why are you doing that? Because I sent Markiplier's clip. And then they say, oh, okay, well, let's just age restrict them both. Why is my channel so much more heavily scrutinized than my peers? My peers, and when I say peers, I mean people around my level, around my view count, just to keep it simple. Why is my channel so much more thoroughly scrutinized? Especially so when I've been number one trending multiple days in a row, which I've done multiple times. And every single time I start to get an uptick in traction, an uptick in activity, you, here comes YouTube coming through. Hey, uh, 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 let's get him for that video from 2019. Yeah, you, you see this, Corey? No, this is bad. It wasn't bad the nine months that I was off the platform. It was only bad when I got back and I was number one trending. This situation was only bad because I've been number one trending since I got back. Every other YouTuber has uploaded the Mortuary Assistant. And now they're about to start putting in some age restrictions because I called them out on some unfair behavior. Now, I realize that when you call someone a racist, that's a very, very serious accusation. And for that matter, how do you expressly prove that someone is a racist? I mean, unless they're spamming the N-word in the chat. How, how do you really know? And admittedly, I cannot 100% prove that race had everything to do with this. But I can tell you the people on that policy team, those shadow people that are anonymous and get to enact their will however they see fit. How can we be sure that they take a black person's video and a white person's video and it can be the same exact video 
and they restrict the black person's video, but not the white person's video. I feel I've been mistreated for a long time. I mean, even when we hit 10 million subscribers and I was supposed to get my diamond play button and no one, there was no correspondence. These situations always coincide with an uptick of growth. And it always just comes off like we can't let this black guy get too high up. I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm telling you, that's how it comes off. I don't see any other YouTuber that gets number one trending many times and then all of a sudden they're getting age restricted and they're getting copyright strikes and all of that. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Point them out. I want to see them. I'll retract this entire video. I'll make a public apology to YouTube. I have no problem. My dad taught me if you make a mistake, be a man and address it and apologize. I will do that. No problem. But to me, you know what it comes off? It comes off whenever Corey Kenshin starts doing some crazy numbers or, or getting on trending too much. We got to find something. We got to get him for something. It's gotta, he's got to have done something. I mean, I bleep out cuss words in video games. Like, I, I literally... This is, the, this is the YouTuber that you want to have smoke with and have problems with. I Whoa. believe there is some racism involved within the policy team. And YouTube in general really doesn't care about black people like that. Um, they got their favorite creators. You know, log out of YouTube. Log out and go to YouTube. You'll see the people on the front page every single day. You'll see the favorites. Count. Can I be honest? When I first learned about Corey, right? And uh, Bull actually introduced, like, show, like, show me Corey first. A couple years back. And I was like... What the fuck? Like, yo, this dude got, you know, hella subscribers, hella views, makes great content, but I had never seen him before. You feel what I'm saying? And what I mean by that, like, like he said, like Markiplier, PewDiePie, um, what the fuck was this? Jack Septicai and all them, and uh, a lot of other there's Quebble Cops, Jellies, all these guys, right? I have seen them through youtube's homepage, or you know being blasted in pictures and and in uh movies and all that yeah i've seen them all through youtube i didn't in the thing with, with Corey though i had to be shown Corey from somebody so i get exactly what he's saying like he fell in and i'm like how did i miss this guy like how did i not see this guy how did this guy get past my radar there's tons of other people like that on youtube like Corey that are black that are not getting that and they do this YouTube Black Creators Program thing, which is cool and whatnot. But that point he just made makes is it you, people that are probably watching me right now that that know me but don't. They're like, who the hell is it? Like, whoa! Like, yeah, this guy is one of the top creators, but you may have never even seen him before. And I think it has a lot to do with what he just said. Count how many are black? Count how many are of people of color? So then, what does YouTube try and do? They try and peddle YouTube black. They try and give See? us a spotlight. And yep. do you know how condescending and patronizing that is? Oh yeah, let's give a spotlight to these black creators because we're all about diversity. All this communicates is black people aren't good enough on their own skill, on their own merits, on their own talent. So we got to give them a spotlight. We got to come down and raise them up so they can get some spotlight action. Well, how about you save all that YouTube black, all that fake patronage, all that fake pandering that you guys do and when you have a black creator coming to you repeatedly saying why am i being treated differently than other creators and then you come back and oh we got to de age restricted and then oh no we got to we got i he's on to us okay we got to age restrict them both fake it's fake that's what it is i am deeply sorry that this came off as a rant you know in the beginning i wanted to keep my emotions out of it i wanted to stay logical stay on the things that i could prove i gave you the facts but it also turned into me venting the emotions that i've had built up around youtube ironic that i have to upload this on youtube but where else am i gonna upload it you know, I worked hard. I, I built this community from the ground. It's taken me over a decade to do. 
And I would have just hoped that the playing field was fair and that, hey, if I did something bad, then everybody else who also did that thing should get punished too. Is that unreasonable? I have no problem being punished. I have no problem if I break a rule that I get punished for it and I learn. But when you start like when it's targeted, when you're doing things only because I'm like getting bigger or I don't know how it always seems to coincide with that situation. But that's just what it is. Now, if my YouTube channel gets shadow banned or they like, you know, they start like not sending my videos out to my subscribers or or, you know, in a couple months from now, y'all just stop seeing my videos. We know why. We know why. I mean, those shadows behind the scenes, they control it all. They control all of it. If they don't want, if they don't want my channel, they could terminate it right now. They could hide my videos. They could shadow ban me, not send my videos out to anybody. That's why I thought long and hard before I recorded this, but as one of the biggest black creators on the platform, I want you to hear it from my mouth that there is some shady business going on behind the scenes at YouTube. Well, well, you heard it here first, man, from one of the biggest creators out there. And it's not like, uh, let me say this loud and clear. Hold on, let me go back. This is not from a guy that's hurting. It's not from a guy that's not getting good views. Um, he's getting 11 million, 17, 8, 5, 6. This is the actual video that got, um, that got the demonetized that started everything, I believe. The mortuary right here. I think this is it. This is not a guy that's, oh, he's just doing that because his views are down. His views are not down whatsoever. His views are not down. So um, let's just keep that in mind and uh, remember that th he's speaking from a high level. And let me see something real quick. I just want to see something. Okay, now I thought he had on a sample right there. I was about to, I was about to get my little, it, he, he, he got pictures in it, but I ain't going to. I ain't going to go through everything, but let's just keep that in mind that this is being spoken from him in a good spot, not him, his views falling off or anything. He's not falling off. Or so let's keep that in mind, man. Salutes to Corey. And I hope this does hit somebody up there and they get on, they get on their shit because, hey, y'all just got called out, YouTube. So fix it.